My name is Brandon Randall. I'm one of the Residence Life Managers here on the Halifax campus. And today I'm going to teach you how to make a charcuterie board. So charcuterie is a French word for delicatessen, which is a, essentially just means sort of delicious or, or something uh, to enjoy. And so uh, I've got a couple different ingredients for my charcuterie board, but the great thing about a charcuterie board is that you can customize it however you'd like. So if you're vegetarian or vegan or don't eat meat, uh, then you don't have to include that part of the charcuterie board. Or if there's something that you really enjoy, you can have more of or a variety of that, uh, whatever you'd like. It's very customizable, which is great. So uh, a couple things I've got uh, a baguette. Uh, so you'll want to use either crackers or some sort of bread that you can put your meat and cheese on. I've got a mixed medley of olives here. I've got some pickled carrots. I pickle my own carrots, but you can get anything pickled at the grocery store as well. I have a balsamic glaze that we're going to use on some uh, cheese and tomato skewers as well. Uh, I made my own, which is just balsamic vinegar and uh, brown sugar. But again, you can pick up a balsamic glaze at the grocery store as well. We've got a couple pieces of fruit that we're going to use today, uh, just to add some color and some flavor uh, to our charcuterie board. I've got some nice uh, local honey uh, as well. Uh, again, something you can pick up at the grocery store or the Halifax Seaport Market. Um, I've got tomatoes for our skewers, some fresh mozzarella cheese, as well as some uh, roasted red peppers and a variety of meats and cheeses as well. So first we're going to get started with cutting up our baguette. So I'm just going to pull this out here. And I'm going to use a serrated knife. Uh, so it's really important when cutting up bread that you are using a serrated knife. It's going to cut the bread a lot easier uh, and you can make sort of nice uh, pieces. So I'm just going to cut the bread on a bit of an angle so I get a bit of a bigger piece. And I'm just going to chop up some pieces here. Uh, and so that's sort of the base of whatever I'd like to put on um, that bread. So I could put some meats, some cheeses. Uh, when, once the charcuterie board is prepared, uh, you can really just kind of customize things however you want. So some people like to make little mini sandwiches. Some people like to eat everything on their own. It's whatever you'd like. The fun thing about a charcuterie is you get to be a little bit crafty as well. Uh, so the presentation is what I really enjoy about putting a charcuterie board together. So we've got our bread here. We're just going to put that right in the corner nicely. Okay, and so that's how we're going to start. Uh, the other thing that uh, we're going to need to cut up is our pear and apple. So I've got a, just a regular kitchen knife, like Ivan said in his video, not too sharp, not too dull. And I'm going to go ahead and cut up the uh, pear. I'm going to try to do nice thin slices so it sits really nice right on top of the, um, the bread that I've cut up. And like I said, you can use crackers or, uh, or chips or whatever you would like there. And so. Again, I'm using the flat part of the pear is down on the cutting board, so it's not rolling all over the place. I want to make sure that uh, my fingers are protected, and I'm just going to cut nice sort of flat pieces here. That's probably enough pear. And then we're going to cut some apple as well. The fruit gives a really nice pairing to uh, the saltiness of uh, the cheese and the meats. Uh, so just a nice sort of sweet texture added to uh, our meats and cheese. Okay, and like I said, I like to have fun with the presentation. So we're going to take this fruit and just kind of fan it out nicely next to the bread here. Add some apples. And don't worry, when this board is done, we'll take a photo and send it, uh, or attach it to this video so you can see what the kind of complete photo looks like. Uh, so I'm also, I'm now gonna cut up some cheese. So I've just got a basic uh, marble cheese. Uh, you can use any cheese that you'd like, but we're gonna start with a nice big piece of marble. So I'm just going to cut sort of nice, uh, thin square pieces, something that, again, will just sit nice and flat on our uh, baguette, so we can kind of stack up some items there. So a charcuterie board, we don't need um, any sort of cooking elements like a stove or a microwave, 
So this is something that you could prepare in your dorm room, or I'm sitting here in the Risley Quad, uh, just preparing this here. Uh, so it's something that you could do anywhere. If you've got a fridge in your room, you can have all these ingredients uh, and you can easily prepare it for yourself, or if you were socially distancing with some friends, uh, you could prepare this for uh, a small group. So we've got our cheese here. I'm gonna stick that right next to our bread and just a nice fancy pile there. Okay, so next we're gonna add some of our meats. So um, you really can use any deli meats from the grocery store work. I have uh, prosciutto and salami today. So I'm gonna take some of my prosciutto here and I'm just going to sort of fan it out nicely. Like I said, the fun part is the presentation. nice little pile of prosciutto and then I'm gonna get some salami and we're just gonna kind of make it nice make the salami look nice there the other thing I'd like to add to my board is uh, some olives so like I said I've got a mixed medley of olives here and so we're just gonna stick that into a nice little glass cup like I said, if you're just doing this for yourself in your dorm room, uh, there's no need to be super fancy, but sometimes it's nice to just make things look a little fancy and, and treat yourself. So we've got some olives and I've got some garlic in these olives as well, which is gonna be really tasty. I'm just gonna sit that right in the middle of my charcuterie board. Uh, the other thing I said, I've got red peppers. So I've got another little container here that I'm gonna add some red peppers to. These are just roasted red peppers. Uh, they come in a jar. I like to cut them up and just add a little bit of salt and pepper uh, to these red peppers. And so, add that to our board as well. And then I mentioned I've got my own uh, pickled carrots. Uh, pickles are a nice way just to add some flavor to the board. Um, like I said, I pickle my own carrots, but you can get uh, any of these pickled items either at the market or at the grocery store. And so we're just gonna slide these right in here into the middle. Carrots are wonderful because they add a nice orange color and have a great flavor. Oh, I've got mozzarella cheese here. I'm going to uh, cut them up, the mozzarella just into uh, little squares. So I'm gonna take my mozzarella out here. And this is a lot of cheese, so I'm not gonna use all of it. This board is gonna feed um, anywhere from, from four to five people. If you're looking at enjoying it as an appetizer, uh, you know, it's good for say four to six people. Um, but if you're looking at it for a full meal, um, this would, this would be for probably three to four, four people. And the price can vary depending on the ingredients you, you buy. So it could be anywhere from, if it's just for yourself, it could be sort of a $5 meal or less, or it could be upwards of say 20 to $30 if you're buying more supplies to share with some friends. Uh, and like I said, it's very customizable. So you can um, change it up however you want uh, and depending on what is in your refrigerator. So I've got my mozzarella cheese cut up here. I've got my cherry tomatoes, and I've got toothpicks that I'm gonna use as a skewer. So I'm just gonna take the cherry tomatoes and stick it right through. And then add a piece of cheese, and then we're just gonna add that to our board as well. Okay, so we've got our little skewers here. And I'm gonna add a balsamic glaze uh, to the skewers. So uh, I'm just gonna take a spoon here and just lightly drizzle this over. You don't wanna add too much because the flavor of balsamic uh, can be quite strong, but just a little bit to add to that uh, sweetness of the tomato and richness of the cheese. Here we go. So here we have it is a wonderful little charcuterie board. Like I said, it's a wonderful snack uh, or a meal. This could be breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Typically it would be a lunch or a dinner meal, but uh, I eat it any time of the day. Like I mentioned earlier, I've also got honey, so we can drizzle honey on some of our mixes as well. So we're gonna sit down here and enjoy charcuterie. You know, what I, I like to do is start with the bread and uh, I'm gonna put some pear on top of this one maybe a little slice of cheese, 
and then I can drizzle some honey on top. Maybe a piece of salami. And there we have it, just a nice, wonderful snack. That's very good, that's very good. Okay, we got people behind the scenes here who need to eat. I've got this big board. So everyone come gather around. We're gonna social distance and enjoy the charcuterie board. Like I said, this is Cooking with Dalhousie. I'm Brandon Randall, one of the Residence Life Managers. I hope you enjoyed this video.